Hey Z Stars, what's good? My head is girl Zara, and I'm back with another video. Now, if you've never been here before, welcome. If you've been here before, what's good? My hood. Now, <laughs> I'm here to basically talk to you all about why I've been gone for so long. I know I've uploaded some videos sporadically, but it really hasn't been enough. And your girl's just been doing a lot of things. And we're going to get into that right away. But of course, before we do, please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what types of videos you want to see now that I'm back. Give this video one big thumbs up. It really helps my engagement and the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to share with your friends and your loved ones. And last but never ever least, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at fxzara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. I post a lot of my photography there and of course behind the scenes on how I get my iconic imagery. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter at fxzara so you can chat to me and ask me all the questions your heart desires. I try to answer my DMs as much as possible and any tweets I reply to, so that's the best place to reach me. So y'all, hey, I'm glad to be back. As you can see, things are a bit different. I have this new neon sign. I have some more lights going on basically just trying to level up i feel like i can't come back and everything is exactly the same now we have to do things differently so hey what's good in the hood your girl's back now i know i've been gone for a while but i really just needed to take a break from this platform now of course you all know what happened last year with how are we going to say this so i don't get demonetized novid kindine <laughs> And that pretty much took the world by complete surprise. Now, in this country, the insert choice word here was not as challenging to deal with as it was in some other environments, because to be fair, I'm living fairly comfortably, right? But then at the same time, it was way more challenging for certain sectors of society. So really, it just felt like I was living in the twilight zone. Now, during this period, I tried to put out some content and I think I did okay. I put out some videos that made quite a bit of sense and you guys seem to enjoy them. Towards the end of the general doc lounge, I was really just over everything and I was experiencing quite a bit of cabin fever. Now, during Thankfully, I was able to put out those videos that you all really seem to enjoy. And I'll link them here so you all can see all of my Doc Lounge content. I'm really grateful for that, but it was a bit of a struggle not being able to perform on my violin. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm in Nigeria, and one of the ways I make an income in this environment is to play my violin. Now, thankfully, that's been able to sustain me enough, you know? I can feed myself, clothe myself, and we thank God for parents in it. <laughs> but not having that source of income was really jarring. And I ultimately had to rely on my US sources of income to survive, you know what I mean? So it was a bit weird and it taught me a lot of lessons about budgeting and having enough for the rainy day, so to speak. Now, as much as I enjoyed being alone and creating certain types of content, I also struggled with feelings of inadequacy. Now, for those of you that don't know, on my Instagram, which is linked, of course, in the top here, I actually don't follow anyone but myself and myself and the reason i've chosen to do that is because i really don't want my feed to be saturated with visuals of one people i don't really actually associate with i also don't want to experience fomo or start comparing my own trajectory to anyone else's now if you all want an in-depth video about my decision to unfollow everyone on instagram as well as the many fights i got in as a result please pop some green emojis down below now that short digression aside even though i was doing a pretty good job of protecting my mental health in that way i was still exposed to tiktok and that huge rush and a lot of people creating a lot of really brilliant content and becoming stars overnight. Now, while I was not bothered by their success, I was bothered by my lack of action. I felt that, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm not doing enough. Am I lazy? 
am I unfocused? But then thank God for parents again because they reminded me that unlike a lot of my peers, I do very many things and I do these things well and I'm making an income from all of these things. So of course we have violin, which is literally my profession. That's what I went to school for. Then we have photography and retouching, which is a newer passion, but something I discovered an affinity for um, later in life, obviously, <laughs> a few years ago. And I'm now making an income from that. Then we also have the fact that I occasionally model for brands and do commercials. I was actually recently in a commercial for this perfume brand, which is again on my Instagram, if y'all wanna check it out. And then I also still do Instagram, YouTube, and trying to do Twitter. I mean, y'all should follow me on there <laughs> so we can chat more. Bearing all of that in mind helped me to remain grounded and not be too hard on myself. Now, I hope to only do better, be more organized, put out more content, and I know the steps I need to take in order to do that successfully, and I've been putting those things in place so I can do that. But ultimately, dealing with those emotions towards the end of the doc lounge was a bit of a challenge for me and made my output even more sparse than it had been previously. Then also working on some huge videos for brands. That was another thing that took a lot of my time. Don't worry, things are going to change going forward. They have already changed. You guys are going to see the result of that. So I'm excited to share all of those things with you. Now, following the doc lounge, I, did I already mention this? I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but I was experiencing quite a bit of cabin fever. So as soon as there was a little bit of freedom, I was pressed to be outside. Now, one of my very good friends and my sister's mentor was actually having these sessions where he would do a live DJing session. And my sister, Gigi Jasmine, AKA Nicole, AKA Nicola, was actually a participant because she's a really popular DJ. Another frequent participant of that was actually one of Abuja's top hype people. So that actually helped take my mind off of the dock lounge and the struggles during the dock lounge. I was just so relieved and I kind of turned a blind eye to actually being productive in the way of my career path and instead was productive in the way of my mental health. I allowed myself to take a much needed vacation. Now another place I frequented post doc lounge, or not really post doc lounge, but during the easing of certain restrictions was Speakeasy. <laughs> now, Speakeasy was our spot during the doc lounge and we went there often at times just to chill out. The DJ Academy was also in session during this period. My sister was an instructor there and I tagged along because I needed the break and I missed driving and just being outside. It was really, really refreshing. And I'm so grateful for the people that made that period really, really special for me. I needed that break. I really did. And of course, as things continue to ease up towards the end of the year in December, when life was maybe not back to normal, but significantly improved. I was so busy with violin. December was a good month for me as an entertainer and really every entertainer. My sister and I enjoyed a plethora of gigs, thank God, because at least that helped us to stay afloat and helped us replenish our depleted Naira funds. So I'm grateful for that period. I had a lot of fun, did a lot of gigs, which you all can see on the screen at the moment. And it was just generally really, really refreshing. The only downside about these things is that it prevented me from being very consistent with content creation. And I've missed YouTube, I've missed you all so much. Now I did try to release a video about Nigeria, which I'm going to refilm, but my parents felt the video was a bit too candid. So I'm going to give you guys all the tea, but I'm going to keep some aspects about my personal life a bit more private for my own safety. Now in February, for those of you that don't know, I celebrated my birthday. It was easily one of the best birthdays I've had in a while. Thanks to my sister and paper for making that happen. They were gracious enough to host my birthday celebration and it was really a ball. All of those things, making those memories, working in different places, i.e. four guys, 
playing different shows, for instance, with Yanya, et cetera, et cetera. All of those things made this period that I took off from YouTube worthwhile. Building friendships and relationships, meeting new people. It's been quite the exciting ride. Now, the only thing I regret is not sharing these things with you all. I wish that I had been more on top of providing you with content of me living my life. But at the same token, I had to be sure-footed in my life in order to feel like I could give you guys the best of me and the best of this experience. It's been beautiful. And I intend to take you guys on this journey with me much more. I'm so sorry I haven't. And if you all would love to see that, if you guys would actually enjoy vlogs from me, please drop some pink emojis down below. But ultimately, one thing that this break has helped me to do is to preserve my mental wellness. As much as I love creating, as much as I love putting out content, I can't come and kill myself. I need to be consistent yet, but I need to take care of me first. And I'm so glad that you all have been so understanding while I've taken this much needed break. Now, like I said, going forward, things are going to be very different. I'm going to give you all the content you desperately want to see. And I'm gonna give you guys some fresh content. We're still going to do a lot of hair, but I want to show you all more shades of myself. I'm so much more than my hair, you know what I mean? <laughs> As much as I love my hair, as much as my hair loves me, I want to be able to express to you all exactly who I am. Now, I know I've already asked you guys, but please share with me exactly what you want to see from me. Let me know what it is that would enrich your life or make you feel more connected to who I am. I sincerely want to know because I want to provide you with that kind of content. Now that aside, I want to provide you with the lesson that I've learned from this period of my life, and that is ultimately to take the time you need to be well. To be fair, I've avoided a number of mental health crises because I've been able to actually step back and take the time needed to be properly okay before actually experiencing a true mental breakdown. It's okay to admit to not feeling your best and it's okay to take care of yourself so that you can ultimately feel your best. I'm a huge proponent of seeking help and seeking the right help and then also seeking help on time. I don't have any stigmas or qualms when it comes to mental health. Heck, I'm even looking for a therapist. If you guys know any good phone ones, let your girl know. I think the same way we take care of our bodies is the same way we should endeavor to take care of our minds. And even if there's nothing wrong, you should make sure that your mind is in peak condition. And sometimes all that takes is talking to someone. Sometimes all it takes is taking a break. Sometimes all it takes is stopping an activity that's causing you harm. So listen to your mind, listen to your body and do what's best for you. I'm really grateful for this period because it's allowed me to get a lot of things in order and be the best version of myself so that you guys can enjoy every good thing I have to offer. So with all of that being said, I'm very, very ready to give you guys more brilliant content. <laughs> and show you guys a lot more of my life. Thank you so much for watching. Please, again, don't forget to comment. Comment what you're doing today. Anything really, just engage with me. Thumbs up, which is super important. Both of those things are extremely important. Share this with your friends and your loved ones, even if it's just your Facebook page. And last but never ever least, please subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Also, Drop a blue emoji down below if you've made it this far. And ultimately, I will see you all in my next video. I love you so much. Thank you so much. And God bless.